Above all else, Matthew DeLarle wanted to be a pilot. So, yes, it's a training kitchen. Instead, he runs a kitchen. Also, it's a functional kitchen, so we feed our public. That plates 500 meals a day. So you see over here um, my sous chef. Not long ago, he was homeless, haunted by failed marriages and cocaine and meth abuse. Yeah, so I used to call it functional drug addiction. And so I've been a drug addict since I was probably 16 years old. In 2019, DeLaurel took one last chance at life. I felt, what the heck? Uh, I, I, uh, I'm about to kill myself. God, you have two weeks. I'll follow you for two weeks. And that two week decision led me here. Here is the Springs Rescue Mission a gospel-based homeless shelter that organizers say meets people wherever they are in life. Low barrier means you can come here, you can be addicted. Jack Briggs runs the place. You can be drunk. There's no place for you to go. We're that last place. The shelter and its partners have cut homelessness in half in Colorado Springs, Colorado. How they do that begins at the front door. You got any drugs, weapons, alcohol, any paraphernalia? Anyone can enter, but no drugs, alcohol, weapons, or aggression allowed. If a dog has been a best friend, Good boy. it can stay too, in a kennel. <coughs> Here, the homeless aren't a problem. They aren't a city blight. They are people. We have to remember that the folks that are coming to the rescue mission uh, are tired and cold and hungry and scared and hurt. So it's no wonder that they can be a little grumpy. Um, our job is to meet people where they're at, focus on meeting where they're at. And in doing that, we can start to build trust in a relationship with them. Trust by asking clients on their first day to give up the only thing they own, their bags of clothing, which are washed, folded, and placed in lockers. The courtyard is quiet, clients calm, unlike on the outside. In an environment like this, safety and security is hospitality. Before the shelter fenced its campus and opened its welcome center, only one in four of the clients were women. Now women are almost half the population. Marie will be here, our volunteer, and she'll help you with your resume. The mission helps 40 people a month get jobs, but the real work is here. Reteaching promptness, responsibility, and simply how to answer an email. And that's going to be Tuesday and Thursday mornings. You want to understand what your mission is and you want to advance that. Briggs used to run missions of a different sort. He's a retired Air Force Major General who flew fighter jets, now helping to navigate a soft landing for his clients. The rescue mission does have its critics. Some complain about the religious overtones. Loud and clear. John Southers is the city mayor. The rescue mission knows if there's any government funds flowing in there, federal or state, they, whatever services those provide can't have a religious uh, overtone to it. And they respect that. The separation of programs is required by government law. But personally, the staff lean on and credit faith for their success. All who are weary do seem to end up at the Springs Rescue Mission to rediscover their personal worth all right, sir. All set. and to re-enter society. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News, Colorado Springs, Colorado.